I've been thinking about all of you cooped up in your houses and how you might be able to make some music while you're stuck there. So I thought you could join me today in finding things that are just around your house that you can turn in to drums. You can use tons of different things to make drums. If you have a bucket like this, that'll work. If you have a small trash can like this, that'll work. Uh, even if you just have two different sizes of plastic cups, that'll work. For sticks, if you happen to have drumsticks, great. If you have chopsticks, those will be awesome. If you have some spoons, those will do. You could also just use empty toilet paper rolls. I know you've all got those. Make sure that you only use something that your parents or your grandparents or whoever is watching you right now says it's okay to use. Once you've found some sticks and a drum, go ahead and get both of those right in front of you. And if you're like me and you're sitting in a chair, you might want to put your drum between your legs and hold it like that so you have easier access. I want you to find, with one stick, the lowest sound you can make on your drum. It's probably going to be in the center of the drum. So that's my low sound. With my other stick, I'm going to find the high sound. The high sound is probably going to be somewhere on the outside. I'm going to go to the rim or the edge of my drum. Can you hear the difference? Here's low. Here's high. Low. High. If you're using two different sizes of plastic cups, the bigger cup will make the low sound and the smaller cup will make the higher sound. So now, repeat after me. Low, high, low, low, high. Try it. Low, high, low, low, high. Good. We're gonna do that three times in a row. I'll go, then you go. Low, high, low, low, high. Low, high, low, low, high. Low, high, low, low, high. Try it. Thank you. 